Hey there YouTubers again, so it's another, it's gonna be another long and uh, relatively peaceful night. Um, I have still, I still have so many things, um, you know, um, so many processes running in parallel on my mind. But regardless, um, I just like to give it another go um, for the Bible reading session and film it, make it um, uh, another Bible Bible, vid Bible reading video, um, and uh, well, just uh, still a bit of a more um, personal monologues. I um, I don't know if um, you know returning to my grandma's residence, um, you know, actually, um, you know, fa um, facilitates making YouTube videos or or it actually um, this this incentivizes making YouTube videos or or actually creates more hindrance, you know, to making quality YouTube videos or contents. But regardless, I will try my my utmost best um, to make um, videos um, where I where I um, try to provide you guys with more insights into those questions and doubts in my next um, videos, you know, next time on YouTube. So, I, so, so that we won't get too set sidetracked, you know, to off the topic. So without further ado, tonight I like to read, I, I like to give the go for reading, you know, this, the second, um, you know, the second epistle of Paul, the apostle to the Corinthians, Be because actually, um, um, you know, in my previous um, Bible reading, videos I, I actually um overlooked to read um you know the parts that i promised you you guys to read you know of, um, you know from from the yeah from the kjv version so yeah without further ado let let us begin the second epist epistle of paul the apost the apostle to the corinthians i paul an apostle of jesus christ chapter one paul an apostle of Jesus Christ by the will of God and Timothy, our brother, unto the church of God, which is, which is, which is at Corinth, with all the saints which are in all a Chia, a Chia. Grace be to you and peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed be God even the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies and God of all comfort, who comforteth, who comforteth us in all our tri tribulation, that we may be able to comfort them which are in any trouble by the comfort wherewith we ourselves are comforted of God. For as the sufferings of Christ abound in us, so our con <clears throat> consolation also aboundeth by Christ, and whether we be afflicted, it is for your consolation and salvation, who is effectual in the enduring of the same sufferings which we also suffer, or whether we be comforted, it is for your consolation and salvation. And our hope of you is steadfast, knowing that as ye are partakers of the sufferings, so shall ye be also of the consolation. For we would not, brethren, have you ignorance of our trouble which came to us in Asia, that we were pressed out of measure, above strength, in so much that we despaired even of life. But we had the sentence of death in ourselves, that we should not trust in ourselves, but in God which raiseth the dead, who delivered us from so great a death, that doeth deliver, in whom we trust that he that he will yet deliver us, yet also helping together by prayer for us, that for the gift bestowed upon us by the means of many persons, thanks may be given by many on our behalf. For rejoicing is this, the testimony of our conscience, that in simplicity and godly sincerity, not with fleshly wisdom, but by the grace of God, we have had our con conversation in the world, and more abundantly to you, world. For we write none other things unto you that than what ye read 
than, than what ye read or acknowledge. And I trust ye shall acknowledge even to the end. Also ye have, as also ye have acknowledged us in part, that we are your rejoicing, even as ye also are ours in the day of the Lord Jesus. And in this confidence I was minded to come unto you before, that ye might have a second benefit, and to pass by you into Macedonia, and to come again out of Macedonia unto you, and of you be brought on my way towards um, Ju Judea. When I therefore was thus minded, did I use lightness, or the things that I purpose? Did do I purpose accordingly to according to the flesh, that with me there should be ye ye and nay nay? But as God is true, our word toward you was not ye and nay, for the Son of God, Jesus Christ, who was preached among you by us, even by me and Salvinus and uh, Timotheus. Timotheus was not ye and nay, but in him was ye. For all the promises of God in him are ye, and in him, amen, unto the glory of God by us. Now he which um, establisheth us with you in Christ, and hath anointed us, is God, who hath also sealed us, and given the earnest of the Spirit in our hearts. Moreover, I call God for a record upon my soul, that to spare you I came not as ye unto Corinth, not for that we have dominion over your faith, but are helpers of your joy, for, for by faith ye stand. But I determined this with myself, that I would not come again to you in heaviness. For if I make you sorry, who is he then that maketh me glad, but the same which is made sorry by me? And I wrote the, these same unto you, lest when I came, I should have sorrow from them of whom I ought to rejoice, having confidence in you all, that my joy is, is the joy of you all. For out much affliction and anguish of heart, I wrote unto you with many tears, not that ye should be aggrieved, but that ye might know the love which I have more abundantly unto you. But if any have caused grief, he hath not grieved me, but in part, that I may not overcharge you all. Sufficient to such a man is this punishment, which was inflicted of many, so that contrarywise ye ought rather to forgive him, and comfort him, lest perhaps such a one should be swallowed up with overmuch sorrow. Wherefore I beseech you that ye would confirm you love toward, your love toward him. For to this end also did I write, that I might know the proof of you, whether ye be obedient in all things. To whom ye forgive anything, I forgive also. For if I forgive anything, to whom I forgive it, for your sakes I forgive it in the person of Christ. Lest Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. Furthermore, when I came to Troas to preach Christ's gospel, and the door was opened unto me of the Lord, I had no rest in my spirit, because I found not Titus my brother, but taking my leave of him, and went, I went from thence into Macedonia. Now thanks be unto God, which always calleth, calleth, Cause us to triumph in Christ, and maketh manifest the Saviour of His knowledge by us in every place. For we are unto God a sweet um, sour of Christ, in them, <clears throat> in them that, that are saved, and in them that perish. To the one we are the savour of the savour, the savour of death unto death, and to the other the savior of life unto life, and who is, suf who is sufficient for these things? For we are not as many, which corrupt the word of God, but as of sincerity, but of God. In the sight of God, we, <clears throat> in the sight of God speak we in Christ. Do we begin again to commend ourselves, or need we, as some others, epistles of commendation to you, or letters of commendation from you? 
Ye are our epistle written in our hearts, known and read of all men. For as much as ye are manifestly declared to be the epistle of Christ ministered by us, written not with ink, but with spirit of the living God, not in tables of stone, but in fleshly tables of the heart. And such trust have we through Christ to God word. <clears throat> not that we are sufficient of ourselves to think anything as of ourselves, but our sufficiency is of God, who, hath, who also hath made us able ministers of the New Testament, not of the letter, but of the Spirit. For the letter killeth, but the Spirit giveth life. But if the ministration of death, written and engraven in stones, was glorious, so that the children of Israel could not steadfastly behold the face of Moses for the glory of his countenance, which glory was to be done away. How shall not the, the ministration of the Spirit be rather glorious? For if the ministration or of condemnation be glory, much more doeth the ministration of righteousness exceeding glory. For even that which were made glorious had no glory in this respect, by reason of the glory that that excelleth. For if that which is done away was glorious, much more that which remaineth is glorious. Seeing then that we have such hope, we use great plainness of speech, and not as Moses, which put a veil over his face, that the children of Israel could not steadfastly look to the end of that which is abolished. But their minds were blinded, for unto the until this day remaineth the same veil untaken away in the readings of the Old Testament, which veil is done away in Christ. But even unto this day, when Moses is read, the veil is upon their heart. Nevertheless, when it shall turn to the Lord, the veil shall be taken away. Now the Lord is, the, is, is that Spirit, and where the Spirit is of the Lord is, and where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. But we all, with open face, beholding, as in a, in a glass, the glory of the Lord, are, ch are changed into the same image from glory to glory, even as by the Spirit of the Lord. Therefore, seeing we have this ministry, as we have received mercy, we faint not, but have renounced the, the hidden things of dishonesty, not walking in craftiness, not handling the word of God deceitfully, but by manifestation of the truth, commending ourselves to every man's con conscience in the sight of God. But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost, in whom the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine unto them. For we preach not ourselves, but Christ Jesus the Lord, and ourselves your servants for Jesus' sake. For, <clears throat> for God, who commanded the light to shine out of darkness, hath shined in our hearts, to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. But we have this treasure in earthen vessels, that the excellency of the power may be of God, and not of us. We are troubled on every side, yet not distressed. We are perplexed, but not in despair, persecuted, but not forsaken, cast down, but not destroyed, always bearing about in the body the dying of the Lord Jesus, that the life also of Jesus might be made manifest in our body. For we which live are always delivered unto death for Jesus' sake, that the life also of Jesus might be made manifest in our mortal flesh. So then death worketh in us, but life in you. We having the same spirit of faith, according to it is written, I believed, therefore I have spoken. We also believe, and therefore speak, knowing that he which raised up up the Lord Jesus shall raise up us also by Jesus and shall present us with you for all things are for your sakes that the abundant grace might through the thanksgiving of many a re redound to the glory of God for which cause we faint not but though our outward man perish yet the inward man is renewed day by day for <clears throat> for our light affliction which is but for a moment 
worketh for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory, while we look not at things, at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen. For the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal. For we know that if our earthly house of this tabernacle were dissolved, we have a building of God, and house not made with hands, eternal in the heavens. For, <clears throat> for in this we groan, earnestly desiring to, desiring to be clothed upon our house which is from heaven. If so be that being clothed, we shall not be found naked. For we that, for we that are in this tabernacle do groan, being burdened not for that we should we would be unclothed, but clothed upon that mortality might be swallowed up of life. Now that he that hath wrought us for the self for the self same thing is God, who also hath given unto us the earnest of the Spirit. Therefore we are always confident, knowing that whilst we are at home in this body, we are absent from the Lord, for we walk by faith not by sight. We are confident, I say, and willing rather be abs to be absent from the body and to be present with the Lord. Wherefore we labor, that w whether present or absent, we may be accepted of Him. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ, that everyone may receive the things done in this body, according to that He hath done, whether it be good or bad. Knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men, but we are made manifest unto God, and I trust also are made manifest in your conscience, in your consciences, in your consciences. For we command not ourselves against unto you, but giving you occasion to glory on our behalf, that ye may have somewhat to answer them, which glory in appearance and not in heart. For whether we be beside ourselves, it is to God, or whether we be sober, it is for your cause, for the love of Christ constraineth us, because we thus judge that if we died for all, that were, then we're all dead, and that he died for all, that they which live should not henceforth live unto themselves, but unto him which died for them, and rose again. Wherefore henceforth know we no man after the flesh, ye though we have known Christ after the flesh. Yet now henceforth know we him no more. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things are, be are become new, and all things are of God, who hath reconciled us to himself by Jesus Christ, and hath given us the ministry of reconciliation, to wit that God was in Christ, Re reconciling the world, reconciling the world unto himself, not imputing their trespasses unto them, and hath committed unto us the word of reconciliation. Now then we are ambassadors of, for Christ, as though God did beseech you by us. We pray you in Christ's stead, be ye reconciled to God. For he hath made him to be sin for us, who knew no sin, that we might be made the righteous of God in Him. Oh my God, this takes me so long. So it's the the second the second epistle, the second epistle um, to the Corinthians chapter one, from chapter one to chapter five. Yeah, I've just finished. I beg your guys' pardon if I mispronounced or overlooked some words, you know, I, if, um, or should I fail to make this video, to, to, to make the text that I read in this video not fully wholesome. Because, you know, I just don't have much time every now and then, you know, at the moment to, you know, to, to listen to the authentic, you know, KGV dramatized audio Bible on YouTube, but I can, yes, point you to towards that playlist, you know, I will point you, I will, I shall include the link to, to, to that, you know, to those, um, to those vids, to those videos, you know, KGV chart, or you can just type in this key, keyword and search on YouTube, you know, KGV dramatized, um, and you will be able to find them. Anyway, guys, 
thanks again for watching and listening. I should get some sleep slash hibernation and get myself fully prepared for tomorrow because I still have lots of work that remaineth tomorrow. So thanks again for watching and listening and I shall see you guys next time on YouTube. Bye bye, God bless and try not to sin. Yeah, though I still sin. Yeah, cheers, bye bye. Thank you.